I'm sure you're going to recognize a lot of the pictures that have been used today. The, uh, we have some lovely ones of the inside of the church. If you didn't manage to go uh, or are going later, you will see how beautiful they are. And we have the cross outside standing as a symbol to everyone who walks past to see that today Christ is risen. So we begin. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me will live, even though he dies. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. And so our first hymn today is one of the glorious Easter hymns, Jesus Christ is risen today. Jesus Christ is risen today. Let us all join together in the prayer, Almighty God. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires are known, and from all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. And we have some words from the first chapter of Peter, chapter one, to share together. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish spoil or fade, kept in heaven for you. See what a morning glow. Jerusalem, fold the grave clothes to fill with light as the angels announce Christ is risen. See God's salvation plan wrought in hope, born in pain, paid in sacrifice. Fulfilled in Christ the man, for he lives, Christ is risen from the dead. 
Mary weeping, where is he laid? As in sorrow she turns from the empty tomb, hears a voice speaking, calling her name. It's the Master, the Lord, raised to life again. The voice that spans the years, speaking life, stirring hope, bringing peace to us. Well, sounds till he uh, appears, for he lives, Christ is risen from the dead. One with the Father, ancient of days, through the Spirit who clothes faith with certainty. Honor and blessing, glory and praise to the King, crowned with power and authority. And we are raised with him, death is dead, love has won, Christ has conquered. And we shall reign with him, for he lives, Christ is risen from the dead. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, The first and greatest commandment is this. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and soul and with all your mind and strength. And the second is like it. Love your neighbour as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Upon these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Amen. Lord, have mercy and write this law upon our hearts. God so loved the world that he gave his son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in repentance and faith, firm, resolve firmly to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all people. So let's just keep a few moments of quiet before we make our confession. And we say together, Lord, we are truly sorry. We turn away from our sin and come to you, the God of mercy and grace. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is in our past and help us to live each new day in the power of the Holy Spirit. Help us to act justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. And let's share some lovely verses from Psalm 145. The Lord is faithful to all his promises and loving towards all he has made. The Lord upholds those who fall and lifts up all who are bowed down. The Lord is near to all who call on him in truth. He hears their cry and saves them. Who, O oh Lord, could save themselves, their own soul could heal? Our shame was deeper than the sea, your grace is deeper still. Who, O oh Lord, could save themselves, their own soul could heal. Our shame was deeper than the sea, your grace is deeper still. 
And you alone can rescue, you alone can save, you alone can lift us from the grave. You came down to find us, led us out of death, to you alone belongs the highest praise. You, O oh Lord, have made a way, the great divide you healed. For when our hearts were far away, your love went further still. Yes, your love went further still. And you alone can rescue, you alone can save, you alone can lift us from the grave. You came down to find us, led us out of death, to you alone belongs the highest praise. We lift up our eyes, lift up our eyes to the giver of life. We lift up our eyes, lift up our eyes to the giver of life. We lift up our eyes, lift up our eyes to the giver of life. We lift up our eyes, we lift up our eyes to the giver of life. For you alone can rescue, you alone can save, you alone can lift us from the grave. You came down to find us, led us out of death, to you alone belongs the highest praise. We lift up our eyes, lift up our eyes to the giver of life. We lift up our eyes, lift up our eyes to the giver of life. We lift up our eyes, lift up our eyes to the giver of life. We lift up our eyes, lift up our eyes to the giver of life. And you alone can rescue, you alone can save, you alone can lift us from the grave. You came down to find us, led us out of death. To you alone belongs the highest praise. To you alone belongs the highest praise. To you alone belongs the highest praise. Our reading today is taken from John chapter 20, verses 1 to 18. Early on Sunday morning, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and found that the stone had been rolled away from the entrance. She ran and found Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved. She said, they have taken the Lord's body out of the tomb and we don't know where they've put him. Peter and the other disciple started out for the tomb. They were both running, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He stooped and looked in and saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he didn't go in. Then Simon Peter arrived and went inside. He also noticed the linen wrappings lying there, while the cloth that had covered Jesus's head was folded up and lying apart from the other wrappings. Then the disciple who had reached the tomb first also went in, and he saw and believed, for until then they still hadn't understood the scriptures that said, Jesus must rise from the dead. Then they went home. Mary was standing outside the tomb, crying, and as she wept, she stooped and looked in. She saw two white-robed angels, one sitting at the head and the other at the foot of the place where the body of Jesus had been lying. Dear woman, why are you crying? the angels asked her. Because they have taken away my Lord, she replied, and I don't know where they have put him. She turned to leave and saw someone standing there. It was Jesus, 
but she didn't recognise him. Dear woman, why are you crying? Jesus asked her. Who are you looking for? She thought he was the gardener. Sir, she said, if you have taken him away, tell me where you have put him and I will go and get him. Mary, Jesus said. She turned to him and cried out, Rabboni, which is Hebrew for teacher. Don't cling to me, Jesus said, for I haven't yet ascended to the Father. But go, find my brothers and tell them. I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene found the disciples and told them, I have seen the Lord. Then she gave them his message. Lord of our life and God of our salvation, star of our night and hope of every nation, hear and receive this day our prayer in heaven, Lord God Almighty. For I know that my Redeemer lives, and that in the end he will stand upon the earth. God our Father in heaven, we come before you with grateful thanks for this Easter day, for the joy of the resurrection of Jesus, for the dawn of new hope and the gift of life. We thank you for your grace poured out for us in Christ who conquered death forever and in whom we see the face of the Father, and know that in all things we will be made new. We thank you for this beautiful world, with its seasons and wonders, and for the reminder at this time that though we endure winter for a while, spring will always follow. We pray for all who struggle with doubts and uncertainty, with regrets, and feelings of condemnation, whose lives seem to be at present stuck in a Good Friday world. May they know the power of the Easter resurrection and the joy of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, heal our land, we wait in expectation. Reveal your grace, your love and your salvation. Wonderful Lord, we cry out for our nation, living Lord Jesus. God our Father in heaven, we thank you for the uniqueness of humanity that we are made in your image after your likeness. Teach us to follow after the likeness of Jesus and to see your goodness in all people and know your love for them. We thank you for our diversity, for the rich, colourful tapestry of our different backgrounds and experiences of life. Show us the value of others and how that together our gifts and talents can help build a life that works and is for the common good of all. We thank you for those who demonstrate your grace by helping in small ways and great to bring healing, freedom and restoration from the struggles and brokenness of life that at times come to us all. Lord, whether in giving or receiving, May we know your grace is enough for us and your power made perfect in our weakness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Living Lord, come and 
touch us with your mercy. We look in faith to you on our life's journey. Light of the world, we trust in you completely. Visit us, Lord. God, our Father in heaven, we thank you for the freedom we are so privileged to enjoy in this country, for the availability and variety of food, and the provision of health care and education, for safety and protection, for justice, freedom of speech, creative expression. Lord, keep us from ever taking these things for granted. We pray for all who are not free, where there is oppression, poverty and slavery, violence and falsehood, enforced confinement, war and persecution. The psalmist prayed, how long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? Lord, Remember all who suffer unjustly. Bring them comfort, courage, and hope in their hearts. And we ask that you would empower and equip those who seek to bring them aid and relief. May the light of Christ increase and shine ever brighter into the dark places of our world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Peace in our hearts, our evil thoughts diminish. Peace in our lives, our prayer for war to finish. Peace in a world where darkness seems to flourish. Peace in our hearts, Lord. God, our Father in heaven, how beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news, who proclaim peace, who bring good tidings. We pray that your peace would be on those facing financial difficulty and the uncertainty of unemployment at this time. We pray that your peace would be on those under pressure who are suffering and fearful of this widespread pandemic. We pray that your peace would be on those experiencing loss and who are grieving. Lord, may we be conduits of peace and carriers of good news. May your beauty and grace and the love and joy of Jesus be in our worship and witness. May the church here in Sandy be a community of hope where people encounter your presence and experience new life. And where in the words of Jesus, by your love will all people know that you are my disciples. May the fragrance of Christ be on us. May the love of Christ be in us. May the power of Christ sustain us. May the peace of Christ keep hold of us. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.
Thine be the glory, risen, conquering Son. Endless is the victory thou o'er death hast won. Angels in bright raiment rolled the stones away, kept the folded grave clothes where thy body lay. Thine be the glory, risen, conquering Son. Endless is the victory thou o'er death hast won. Lo, Jesus meets us, risen from the tomb. Lovingly he greets us, scatters fear and gloom. Let the church with gladness hymns of triumph sing. For her Lord now liveth, death has lost its sting. Thine be the glory, risen, conquering Son. Endless is the victory thou or death hast won. No more we doubt the glorious Prince of life. I could not without thee aid us in our strife. <clears throat> Make us more than conquerors through thy deathless love. Bring our shameful burden to thy home above. Thine be the glory, risen, conquering Son. Endless is the victory. So please, would you all now unmute yourselves and let us pray this blessing to each other and that we might have a wonderful Easter, enjoying the fellowship and always in your love. May the